Hello, this is Paladin Prepper. I see a lot of people getting on the uh, YouTube and showing off their wonderful canned goods. All the time and effort they put into making a room full of all their wonderful canned goods. The one thing that I always notice and it really concerns me is that they don't have anything to protect those canned goods from falling on the floor if even the slightest tremor of an earthquake comes through. I'm grateful, I'm proud of them for uh, doing all the work that they've done. All the love and hard work they put into canning those canned goods. I remember Cat's Cradle did a great uh, video called Earthquake Precautions. And if you haven't seen that video, you need to go back and watch it because there's some information on there that you need to know. Now we're going to go and take a look at what I've done as one measure to help keep those glass jars on those shelves when the ground begins to tremble. Now if you went back and watched Cat's Cradle's uh, video, you saw that when this shelf was built, these 1x2s were not up here. But we don't want the, your canned goods crashing to the floor. So now I've gone and put uh, screwed in, put screws in, and put one by twos on every shelf so that if we have uh, an earthquake, at least to some degree, all these canned goods are not going to go crashing to the floor and make a big mess. And remember, the whole point is that you're doing this for your family, for the welfare of your family. And it would be a, certainly a shame if all the hard work that you went to went to waste and went all crashing to the floor just because we didn't take that one extra step of putting a barrier, a canned good earthquake barrier, on your shelves. That's what I'm going to call this from now on, a canned good earthquake barrier. And so I want you to uh, think about that. As a matter of fact, you can forward this video. Anytime you see somebody post a video on YouTube talking about food storage, and they're very proud of their food storage, and they're showing you these shelves that are chock full of, of glass jars, you might want to uh, lovingly forward the link to this video to them and say you've done a great job, a wonderful job, putting all the canned goods away, now you need to take one more step at least and put the barriers up, the canned good earthquake barriers, so it doesn't all go crashing to the floor. Now something else is going to look familiar to some of you because you also watch Cat's Cradle video, and that is, here in these cabinets, which run our washroom, you know, uh, when you have little children, if you have cabinets that are near the floor, uh, you have uh, childproof hooks on those cabinets. So a child cannot come up and open the cabinet and get into some place and either break something or get to poison or anything like that. But we do the opposite here. We have the childproof hooks on these cabinets not to keep someone out, but to keep the glass canned goods in. So when the ground starts rumbling, all our glass jars stay put and they don't go crashing to the floor on all of these. So you might want to, uh, in fact, uh, Cat's Cradle has gone a step further and taken any time away out the, the toe or heel in a tube sock, she'll cut the foot off of it and put the top of tube socks on here or put rubber bands, anything that can be as a cushion, or even you can put cardboard, put a cardboard sleeve on these. Anything to separate the, the glass jars from clanging together and breaking. Even if it doesn't come crashing to the floor, we don't want them shaking in here hard enough to break and cause a mess in here either. We've also done the same thing on the lower cabinets here in this, in this washroom. So all you have to do is, uh, actually this is up at the top, you can see all you just have to do 
is slightly pressed down on that to release the hook and bring it out. And you can find these at any uh, hardware store or whatever. You can see this is just uh, two screws in there and two screws there where the hook is. And that is something that anybody can do. So I want you to uh, think about this. No, I don't want you to think about it. I want you to implement this if you haven't already done it. We're all in this together. Paladin Prepper.